in this lecture we are going to discuss some problems on derivatives the first question is there is one point on the graph of the parabola y equal to x square minus 4x plus 5 where the slope is 0 so that the tangent line is horizontal as in this figure find that point using derivatives and algebra so here we are given a, a parabola y equal to x square minus 4x plus 5 on the graph of that parabola there is a point at which its slope is 0 that is we have this point at which the slope of the uh, tangent line or the slope of the uh, this curve is 0 that means slope is 0 means the tangent line is parallel to the x axis or tangent this is the tangent line tangent line is uh, horizontal or tangent line is parallel to the x axis so we have to find that point on this curve at which uh, the slope is 0 or the tangent line is horizontal okay so we know for a function y equal to and we, we have to find that point by using the derivatives and the second is by using the algebra okay so uh, for first we know uh, for a function y equal to f of x uh, the slope is uh, f dash of x or y dash okay that is the slope it is equal to 0 at a point x naught if the tangent line at this point x naught is horizontal right so here we are given uh, the parabola y equal to f of x is equal to x square minus 4x plus 5 so this is a quadratic function so we can use the quadratic function rule to find the derivative so we know the slope is equal to y dash so y dash is obtained by using the quadratic rule this is a quadratic function uh, quadratic function with a equal to the coefficient of x square which is 1 b equal to coefficient of x which is minus 4 and c equal to the constant 5 okay so the y dash is given by 2x minus 4 by quadratic function rule okay so uh, this is the slope so slope is 0 we have to find the uh, point at which the slope is 0 so slope is 0 means slope equal to 0 means y dash is equal to 0 that is 2x minus 4 is equal to 0 that means x is equal to 4 by 2 which is 2 so uh, at the point x equal to so this is the point x equal to 2 now when x equal to 2 we have now x equal to 2 implies y is equal to uh, x square minus 4x plus 5 which is equal to 2 square minus 4 into 2 uh, plus 5. So this is equal to uh, 4 minus 8 plus 5 that is uh, 1 right. So uh, we have point is 1 ok y is 1 here the y coordinate is 1. So this point is well, that means this is the point y equal to 1 this point is 2 comma 1 so this is the required point at which at this point we have the slope is the uh, tangent line x-axis or tangent line is horizontal okay now second question is we have to find that point 2 comma 1 uh, uh, 0 by using algebra okay now how, how can we so by using algebra okay we have the uh, parabola is nothing but y is equal to f of x is equal to x square minus 4x plus 5 so uh, completing the square if we complete if we're trying to complete the square we can write x square minus 4x here we have uh, coefficient of x is minus 4 so dividing this by 2 that is we have 2 and squaring this 2 that is 4 this we are adding and subtracting uh, 4 okay plus 5 I hope you all know the uh, method of completing the square we are taking uh, uh, the coefficient of uh, x which is 4 and we are dividing that by 2 that is uh, we, we are finding the half of that uh, th that number that is 2 and we are just adding and subtracting uh, square of that so 2 square is equal to 4 we are adding 4 and subtracting 4 okay so this is he, this can be written as we know x square minus 4x plus 4 is nothing but x minus 2 whole square plus 5 minus 4 is here that is 
this is x square uh, x minus 2 whole square and this is 5 minus 4 is 1 so we have our uh, parabola is nothing but y equal to x minus 2 whole square plus 1 so from this uh, we can see that uh, this value for x minus 2 is minimum when x equal to 2 okay when x equal to 2 uh, x minus 2 is minimum that is 0 okay and for any other value of x the value of x minus 2 whole square is uh, positive so we can write like this uh, at x equal to 2 uh, x minus 2 whole square is equal to 0 which is the minimum value minimum value of x minus 2 whole square and at any other point at any other point x minus 2 whole square is positive clear so uh, the minimum point of this y minimum point of this y is nothing but when x equal to 0 and it is uh, 1 okay so therefore the uh, least value of y is when x equal to 2 and the value is what y equal to when x equal to 0 it is 1 so we know uh, uh, therefore the required point is the point is x equal to 2 and y equal to 1 so uh, at this point 2 comma 1 we have uh, the derivative will be 0 uh, from the uh, curve of from the given curve we can see that the minimum value is here so this point will be 2 comma 1 clear so this is the uh, required point next question a stunned woman is on a moving passenger train her distance function is 3t square plus t on the adjacent track is a long moving freight train freight train means goods train okay goods train the distance function for tender of the freight train is t square plus 7t she must jump to the freight train what, what time is it? so here the question is for a stunned woman e passenger train in the mogul that is we have a moving passenger train this and we have uh, on that passenger train uh, there is a uh, stunned woman uh, the, the distance function of the stunned woman is given by 3t square plus t and in the adjacent track on the adjacent track we have a long moving freight train freight train means a goods train okay with uh, the distance function t square plus 70 so e uh, goods train the distance function on t square plus 70 and uh, e uh, moving passenger train the alingil distance function on alingil e uh, lady the distance function on 3 t square plus t and so, this e lady is the same this passenger train is the same as goods train. Le ke so, this is the same as the best train. Okay. For convenience, we can denote the distance function of the woman as f of t, that is 3t square plus t, and the distance function of the goods train is g of t, okay. which is t square plus 70. So, we need to find uh, the time at which the best time at which uh, uh, the best time to jump the uh, woman uh, to the from the passenger train to goods train okay so uh, the best time will be uh, the time at which the instantaneous velocity of the woman is equal to the instantaneous velocity of the goods train okay so uh, the best time to jump uh, the woman from passenger train to freight train or goods train
is 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 the time at which at which uh, the instantaneous velocity the instantaneous velocity of woman is equal to the instantaneous velocity of the goods train Okay, that is the woman passenger train and goods train lake Jambuji and Pache to Nala Saman or Nala. A passenger train day, e woman day, velocity equal on the Samayatan. Okay, so that means uh, the velocity uh, instantaneous velocity is nothing but f dash of t. Uh, uh, so that is uh, instantaneous velocity of the uh, woman uh, is f dash of t and instantaneous velocity of the goods train is g dash of t. So, uh, we need to find the time t at which f dash of t is equal to g dash of t. Okay. That is at t, that is to find t, to find t at which uh, f dash of t equal to g dash of t. Okay. That is we need to find. Now, uh, f dash of t is equal to g dash of t is implies. We have f, f dash of t is f, f of t equal to 3 d square plus t. So by quadratic function rule, we have f dash of t is nothing but 3 uh, into 2 t square, 2 t plus 1. So which is equal to g dash of t, g is equal to t square and t, so 2 t plus 7. So we need to find the t satisfying this. 60 plus 1 is equal to 2 t plus 7. So 60 minus uh, 2 t is uh, 4 t is equal to 6. So, t equal to 6 by 4 that is 3 by 2. Okay. So, the safest time uh, to jump uh, the woman from uh, the passenger train to the freight train is at t equal to 3 by 2. Okay. Now, you try these questions yourself. Okay.